What's up guys, we're back and it's time for the Eastern Conference Finals to start. Ole ole ole. The Montreal Canadiens and the New York Rangers meet in the in the East Finals. I'm glad, it's some fresh blood. I know the Rangers made it two years ago to the Finals. But yeah, Montreal and Rangers. I, I'm glad it wasn't Pittsburgh and Boston again. Like all the so-called experts were picking on uh, shows on TV and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I had a feeling Boston might lose to Montreal. I mean, Montreal's played them so well over the regular season the last few years. And of course, in the playoffs, they've had some pretty great battles. But yeah, that was just a great game, a great series. P.K. Subban just just went off. Price was amazing. And the Rangers, too. I mean, they played a great series against Pittsburgh. Everyone counted them out when they were down three games to one, but they kind of rallied around Marty St. Louis. I mean, what a story that would be if they won the cup. Or even if Marty St. Louis eliminates the Montreal Canadiens, his hometown... Uh, at the Bell Center, that would be a, such a great story. Yeah, there's so many guys on both teams that I'm kind of cheering for. Even though I don't really like the Habs, I mean, obviously I'm from Toronto, Leafs fan, whatever. I don't really like the Habs, but uh, how can you not cheer for this team right now? I mean, they're playing so well. They just got that excitement to them and in each and every game they play. I, I will admit the Rangers games aren't as exciting to watch, but they, they're good. I mean, I, I picked them to win over Pittsburgh. I picked them to win over Philly. I, I'm, I'm really not sure who I'm going to pick in this series. I mean, it, it, it's close. It's going to be close. I hope it goes to seven games. I mean, game sevens are always amazing, just like the Pittsburgh game and just like the, the Ranger, uh, the Montreal game against Boston. I mean, that was great. But yeah, there's so many guys I'm cheering for on each team. I, I really want to see Briere do well. I mean, he's played, he's had such a great career. He's such a playoff warrior. Obviously, he's never won the cup. And if, and if he won the cup with, with Montreal, it'd be bittersweet for me, but I'm sure... I'm sure Montreal would go crazy. Uh, you know, guys like Richards, St. Louis, obviously they've won it before, but I mean, how can you not root for Brad Richards? I mean, uh, this guy couldn't even play in the playoffs last year. Healthy scratch against against the Bruins and stuff like that, but I guess that just shows what kind of coach John Tortorella is, thinking this guy couldn't play anymore. And he's lighting it up. I mean, they've got a great third line, the Rangers do, of Pouliot, Broussard, and Zuccarello, the Norwegian wonder. Yeah, so the... A lot of good depth on each of these teams. I mean, Rick Nash hasn't even scored a goal yet in the playoffs, so... I mean, both of these teams, in my opinion, they're made of, of like, three second lines and the third line. Great depth on each team. I mean, you could argue guys like St. Louis, Rick Nash, or first liners, but then... To me, when you look at their each three of their lines, and Montreal's as well, even with Vanek and Pacioretty, I mean... It's just three. It's just teams with three lines of good scoring depth, and even the fourth line that can score. Especially when Briere's on the fourth line in Montreal, I mean... That's just overkill. And of course, two of the best goalies in the NHL this year, and period, pretty much. I mean, it's kind of a rematch. Canada versus Sweden in net. Price and Lungfist. I mean, I think Lungfist has better numbers right now in the playoffs. Uh, but man, Price is just... He pretty much stole game one for them against the Bruins. And he, he was just great. Price is... He looks so calm in the net. He plays semi-aggressively. I mean, I know Lundqvist sits in his net. I know he's been criticized for that in the past, but you know what? It's worked for him so far this year. We'll see if he can get it done. I don't know. Everything in my gut says that the, the Canadians are going to win because they're on just such a roll right now. Uh, but I think if I had to pick, I'd pick the Rangers in seven games. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm willing to look wrong on that. I mean, it's Montreal. I hate to see them win, but I'd love to see them win because it, it's just a great story right now. P.K. Subban. He's amazing. I mean, say what you want. He has his haters. You either love or hate a guy like P.K. Subban, but I mean, I love the way he plays. I love the way he plays. I think he can be... Actually, no, I know. I know he will be a dominant uh, factor in this series, but you know, we'll just see if it translates into wins. I mean, Lungfist versus Price, I mean, you have to call that a tie, no matter how well either one is playing, is playing right now. I mean, that's a tie. I don't know. I, I would like to see either team win. I'm glad it wasn't Boston. I'm glad Montreal beat Boston. But yeah, both teams just playing so well right now. If I had to pick, I'd pick the Rangers, and maybe that's just because I'm a Leaf fan deep down. <laughs> and I hope the Habs don't go to the finals, but I can see it. I can see the Habs going to the finals. It, it, I mean, it, it's so clear. Pacioretty's caught on fire now. I mean, Subban's obviously still on fire. Price is on fire. Uh, but you know what? I think Brad Richards, St. Louis, guys like that, they've been there before. Rick Nash hasn't scored yet, so I think he can wake up. And if I had to pick right now, right at this moment, I'd pick the Rangers in seven games. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you think is going to win the series? Take it easy, guys. Peace.